how to add a watermark on CapCut PC and Mac. First of all, download the green screen picture that I have put for you in the description of this video. It's completely free and no registration is necessary. Once you have downloaded that, go to media in the upper left corner of the screen, then go to import and import the green screen image. As I have already done that, I have this picture here. Now I'll drag it down onto the timeline. The next step for us is to write our text for the watermark. To do that, click on text in the upper left corner and then add a default text element by pressing here on this plus symbol. Our text element will now be on top of our green screen image. Now in the upper right corner of the screen, you can type the text for your watermark. I'm simply going to name it my watermark. But in your case, obviously, you want to use your brand name or nickname or something like that. Once you have done that here, you can choose a specific font for your watermark and you can adjust the styling to your liking. In my case, I'm just going to use one of these preset styles as I want to keep things simple. Once you're happy with how your watermark looks like, make sure that your text element here has the same length as the green screen element. So in our case, we need to make this text element a little bit longer here. You can simply hover over the end of the text element and then drag it to the right until it has the very same length as the green screen element. However, in total, as you can see, our elements here are just about 5 seconds long. That is not enough, so it's better for us to make this much longer because in the video we typically want to show the watermark maybe for the whole duration of the video. So if your video is one minute long, then you should also make sure that everything here is one minute long as well. So it really depends on the length of your video. As we are basically still working with pictures here, the good thing is that we can expand this to any length we want. Simply left click with your mouse and then drag over both clips. And then place your cursor here at the end of both clips. And you can then drag it to the right to make both of these elements longer at the same time. And just like that, I made both of these clips longer than 3 minutes. So if we will have a video of 3 minutes, for example, we will be completely fine. Once you have all of that at the desired length, you're ready to export everything. Before you click on export, make sure to put your cursor to the very end of both video clips here, and then press O on your keyboard to set an out point. What this does is, it tells CapCut that we want to export our video until that mark. So the whole 3 minute video will now export it. In fact, it's even a little bit longer, it's like 3 minutes and 9 seconds long. So once we've done that, we go to export in the upper right corner of the screen. We give it a name. And then click on export. Once you have exported that, make sure to open up a new CapCut project. You can do that by clicking here on file in the upper right corner and then click on new project. Don't worry, what we did so far is saved because everything is auto saved in CapCut. So we will just go to new project and now in our blank project, we will go to import and we would then import the video that we just exported. So search that on your computer once you found it, click on it and then click on import. Now it is also time for us to import the main video clip. I'm talking about the video clip where later on you would like to show your watermark. So I'm going to import again and I will simply import the main video. And once you have that, grab your main video and drag that onto the timeline. Then next grab your green screen clip and put that on top of your main video. In the player, for now, you only see your green screen clip because it is placed on top of our main video. So our green screen clip kind of works like an overlay for the moment. Now to make sure that we can finally get rid of this green screen and just have our watermark, what we need to do is we have to click on cutout here in the upper right corner of the screen, then click on chroma key, then click on the color picker icon. And now in the player window, simply left click somewhere here in the green area and then move this strength fader here all the way to the right. And just like that, your green screen will be gone and the watermark is still there. Perfect. However, it doesn't really look like a nice watermark yet and that is because we still have the opacity at 100%. So to take care of that, we would go to basic here and then here under opacity, we would simply lower that value. I think 17% works really well in this case, but every case is different. So depending on your font and your watermark as a whole, and also depending on your main video, you want to find an opacity setting that works for you. But something around 15 to 25% usually works pretty fine. Now in the player window, you can also grab your watermark and reposition it. I would like to move it a little bit up, so I will simply left click and drag it up. Maybe something like that. Now let us play the clip for a second. Lovely, that looks really cool, I like it. And our text watermark is now done. But what if you would like to have a logo as a watermark? Well, you can easily do that as well. The best case scenario is that you have this logo as a transparent PNG. If you do have that, you can simply click on import, then import your logo with transparent background, drag it on top of the main video clip, make it the same length as your main video clip if you want to show it for the whole duration of the video. And then in the upper right corner here under basic, simply reduce the opacity. And just like that, we added an awesome looking logo watermark. And this is how you make and add watermarks on CapCut PC and CapCut Mac. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more CapCut tutorials.